Hello, I'm Brigantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Thursday and welcome to the Pagan Housewife. Uh, today, our theme is Seeking Quiet. There are two months out of the year that strike me as having the atmosphere of restfulness. Uh, the first is January because after the excitement of the new year, everything just relaxes into a slow hibernation. Uh, the second, at least in my opinion, is July, you know, after the 4th of July, of course. And yes, this may be a time of vacations and other summer activities, but in many ways, there's a sense of that we are falling away from the ordinary hustle and bustle of life. Just as in winter, this is a time of waiting. In July, we are waiting for fruits to ripen and for vegetables to be ready for picking. We are waiting for rain. We're waiting some in some areas this year for the rain to stop. Some people really got smashed. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're waiting. We're waiting for the next flower to bloom, for the next next merciful gust of wind that's actually cool and you don't get you know blasted by a furnace we are waiting <laughs> now of course there's still routines that we have to fulfill and granted those routines might be physically more active than what we experience in winter but it can still feel like time is crawling i mean you remember when you were a kid that sense of summer just being everlasting until the last couple of weeks before school was started but you know when you were still in that spot where everything just kind of went along without really feeling the passage of time that's this kind of feeling that i'm talking about uh, there does come a point when we do feel like uh, that sun is just going to shine for forever and heat is just going to be here for forever more. And, you know, thoughts of autumn is like a fantasy. And you're like, oh, I remember autumn. That's something we used to do. And uh, I thought instead of fighting this lull or, you know, focusing on, I can't wait till I don't have to run the air conditioner. I can't wait. I can't wait. Instead of being in that mindset, you know, maybe we should just embrace this the stillness. Uh, just as we hibernated in the winter, now we can have a lazy siesta in the summer. The next flurry of activity won't really come until, you know, the harvest season is upon us and, you know, people have got kids going back to school and you know, it's time to do a top to bottom seasonal clean of the house and need to prepare for winter. All of these things, they still remain in the future. We've got time yet. So it's not the worst idea in the world to take the peace and quiet now when we can actually get it. Now, by this stage of the year, you've probably already kind of lightened up your house, uh, simplified your housekeeping, you know, made adjustments to your cooking so you're not having to turn on the oven every day and heating up the house more than necessary. The kids are probably out of school and they would probably benefit from being tossed outside or going swimming and other things of that kind as often as possible. And even our spouses, they're more likely to have plans for any downtime that uh, pops up. So all that adds up to us hearth keepers having a taste of free time, dare I say it. So whether you have been craving just some time to yourself to lounge in the sun and soak up those rays or read the novel that you've been meaning to get into or to try out this new hobby that you seem you seemed interested in. I mean, seize this moment. You know, the obligations, the duties, all of that will resurface soon enough. So take the time whenever you're able to recharge. You will never know how much of that energy will be needed in the autumn until you're there. Uh, also, look for the chance to get into nature. I mean, yes, of course, it's it's July. It's hot as can be. Uh, but if you can find maybe a walking trail that's near to the water or a local lake that you can visit, it really is worth putting up with heat and the bugs and just enjoying the sights. And being near the water, it, that in of itself, that has a way of just kind of draining the anxiety out of your system. And uh, its currents can certainly take you out of the pace of everyday life and into a pace that's much more consistent with what's going on at nature. Another fun thing to do at this time of year is to pay special attention to the wildflowers that pop up. Uh, there isn't always a great deal of established magical lore to do with native wildflowers, so this is an opportunity for you to, you know, conduct an investigation, experiment with it, and then make additions to our knowledge base. July is also a good moment to seek inner quiet. Uh, perhaps this is the moment you've been waiting for to just take a break from all of your various electronic devices, so far as what's humanly possible. You know, turn off the social media. Uh, make sure that if you're having to deal with humans at all, that it's the humans who are actually around you. And so far as is possible, the humans that matter to you. I've been thinking a great deal about just how overstimulated we all are. Uh, we've all become like highly strung addicts looking for the next fix, whether it's that person who's addicted to getting likes on social media or the person who's addicted to the news, always looking for the next disaster. Uh, bottom line, this just is not good for anybody's blood pressure. Uh, certainly it is not a way of life that's likely to enable us uh, to be well-balanced and uh, 
to be able to manage our affairs successfully. So don't be afraid just to, to walk away for a bit, center yourself. And yes, I realize how odd that probably sounds from someone who makes videos and does live streams and, you know, who's a, a lot of my work is very actively centered in that online world. But, you know, nevertheless, get away from it if you can. All of the online craziness will still be here after you take a breather. And you might surprise yourself with how relaxed you feel after just being away from that. And uh, take the time for your spiritual explorations as well. The spirits of the land are active with all of the season's growth, and you may find yourself bumping into deities that you haven't encountered yet. This time of year can be quite restorative, and it's a time of wonder. You know, if you give yourself permission to, to experience it. So uh, why not? Why not? Uh, but those are my thoughts this week. Uh, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Um, you can uh, click on the link in the description box to take you to Blackbirds Brew on Gilded. You can get to know me and the rest of the gang there and uh, start uh, being part of building that pagan community after you've managed to get a break from all of the social media stuff. So um, I think that does it for now, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.